Hello, this is Michael with Super Security 101, and this is how you arm and disarm your DSC home security system. All you have to do is push the stay button to turn it on in stay mode. This mode leaves your motion off and turns your doors and windows on. Your doors will have a delay. If someone tries to come through your door, it will give them 45 seconds to turn the system off. To turn the system off, all you do is hit your code. The code is 1, 2, 3, 4 on my system. Your system's code may be different. To arm it when you're leaving the home and no one's going to be in the house, hold down the away button until that red light comes on and it starts a countdown. It gives you one minute to get out. When you come back home, you have 45 seconds to turn it off. So when you come back in, you just hit your code and that shuts it off. Away mode will arm your motion so you don't want to be in the house when this thing is armed. If you have to leave and you don't have enough time just turn the system off and then rearm it when you're ready to leave. The chime is on and the chime is the sound you hear when you open a door or window. If you don't want the chime on hold down the chime button and it's off. If you want to turn it back on, hold it down again and it's back on. The reset button will be for your smoke detectors. If you had in smoke detectors installed in your house and they're hooked to the alarm system, this will reset your smoke detector in case you do accidentally set the smoke system off. You'll know the smoke system is, uh, is activated when you see this little fire symbol on your screen and you hear a siren. If that happens, just hit your code and turn off the system, wait for the smoke to clear, and then hit reset and hold it down till it beeps, and that will reset your smokes. But only hit reset after the smoke cleared from your smoke detectors. The exit button allows you to exit through any door when someone has pushed it. So if you have the alarm on in stay mode and you're home, and someone comes to your door, you just want to let someone out, all you do is hold the exit button, and this allows you to open any door that's a delay door, and you have to make sure your technician lets you know which do doors are delay doors. Once you hit exit and hold it down, it lets you open any delay door one time, and you have to shut it within one minute. Once you shut that door, it is reactivated, and no one can come through it after that. Let's turn off the system. Your panic buttons are police, ambulance, and fire. Hold each one down for three seconds for those to work. It's like calling 911. When you hold this button down, it sets off your siren and it calls the monitoring station, and they will in turn call you and ask you for a password and ask you if you're okay. If you're okay, give them the correct password and they won't send the police. If you're not okay, give them an incorrect password, they'll hang up and send the police. That's police, ambulance, and fire. Your hostage code will be 2580. This is a widely used code. Ask your technician if you want to change this code to something else. When you hit 2580 to disarm the system, this will in turn call the monitoring station and they will send the police. They will not call you, they will send the police to your house. So only use that code in a duress situation. 